Hello everyone, today we are at the best park in Disney, Disney's Animal Kingdom for the park's 25th anniversary, also known as Dakachala. So we're gonna go in, have a great time. I'm here with Mateo, Katie, and Sadie. Good day. Make sure if you're here for Dakachala, you are getting your 25th map. These are recyclable, they feel really nice quality, way better than normal maps, and it's gonna be a great time. We are now waiting for opening day pins and shirts. Now, I did come yesterday to film all the merch, which is why I'm wearing it. Um, so if you're like looking at my merch haul and you're like, how is he wearing that now? He's showing it in the merch haul. That's how. But opening day stuff is only on opening day. All right, looking at some of the 25th merch, there's this tank right here. This is 40. There's this shirt right here, and it's kind of got this tie in the front, and it is 45. And here we've got this cup. This is going to be 30. There's this light up box here. It's a little hard to see the light, but this is 45. This shirt right here is 40. I will say this is a very soft, breathable material, almost like a swim shirt. Um, this would definitely be nice in the Florida sun. The tank also has this material, so keep that in mind. Looking at some of the detail of the shirt, you can see not only a lot of animals, but some characters like Mickey, the Yeti, there's Dory and Nemo, there's a lot of cute stuff. Kevin from Up. This right here, the lounge fly bag is one of my favorite items. This is 88. I really like the design and all the stuff on it. It's cute. Right here we have the 25th Spirit Jersey. This is 80. There's the front and here's the back. It is Kevin from Up with the phrase, more adventure is out there. This button up here is 60. This is also a very light material, good for the Florida sun. And it's got this little 25th patch over on the side, as well as some animal designs throughout. They've got this ornament as well that says Alive with Magic. And this is $20, and this design is on the back as well. Right here for $11.99, we've got this magnet. For $11.99 as well, there's this keychain. And I really like this design, it's really cute. Right here for 27 is this kid shirt that says Live with Magic on the front, and it has this design on the back. Animal Kingdom's anniversary is also Earth Day, and Disney's Earth Day pin this year looks like this, and it is going to be priced at $18. Right here is one of the pins for the 25th. This is Kevin from Up, and it's $17.99. I know there's tons more pins, but I don't know where they are, so I need to search for them. We're also going to have these mystery pin sets for $24.99. And this is going to have an assortment of two of these designs per pack. They don't actually say 25th, so I'm not sure if I'll get one, but I do like the design. I think it's cute. So I did find the other Animal Kingdom 25th pins over at Discovery Trading Company, and that includes the Kevin pin once again, which is $17.99, and this is the cheapest of all of the 25th pin options. And then next we'll move over to the pin with the 25th logo with the elephant, tiger, and rhinoceros. And this is going to be $19.99, and all pins from here forward are also going to be $19.99. Next is going to be the pass holder pin, which has Mickey Mouse with an elephant, tiger, and a bird on it. And it looks like Mickey's holding a little camera, which is very cute. Now we're gonna take a look at the attraction pins, which celebrate the attractions that opened with the park in 1998 and are still in the park today. These also retail at $19.99. And the first we'll look at is Kilimanjaro Safaris, which has Mickey Mouse sitting in a little safari truck, looking at the baobab tree, Probably my favorite, just because that's my favorite ride. Next, we have the dinosaur pin. This one's pretty cute too. It has the Iguana Dawn on it. The pin for It's Tough to Be a Bug features Flick giving a thumbs up as well as Hopper lurking in the back. Lastly, we have the Festival of the Lion King pin, and that'll have Simba hanging out on Pride Rock. And once again, all of these pins will retail at $19.99 with the exception of the Kevin pin, which is $17.99. Alrighty, I want to do a little merch haul of what I got. So first things first, I did get the lounge fly bag. I think this is my favorite piece of merch. I just love the design. I love all the animals on it. So this is like a little button clip and then here's the interior of the bag. Thankfully, despite these, these are just little clips like this. So it's very easy to access this. Once again, this was unfortunately $88. Um, however, for lounge flies, that's pretty standard, and it's kind of what I would expect from this kind of bag. However, to celebrate my favorite park in Dakchella, I am totally fine spending money. Next, I did purchase this button up. I will note also the buttons itself are like these little wooden things, and they say 25 on them. That's a super cute detail I didn't even notice at first. 
Um, it's got a little pocket right here. This is 60 once again, but this material is super light and airy. It'll be perfect for the summertime. I will also note all the shirts for this event are very large. They are very oversized. Um, I typically wear a medium in shirts and this is a small and the other shirt I got is an extra small, which I'll show in just a second. Here's a closer look at the patch on the side sleeve. Next thing I got is this shirt. This is also a super soft material, which is kind of what won me over because I was kind of iffy on the design. I do like the design, I obviously bought it, but I was originally not gonna get it until I felt how soft this was and I was immediately sold. And then the pocket right here does say Animal Kingdom 25th anniversary. This shirt I will definitely say was probably the most oversized one. As you can see, this is an extra small in men's. I wear a medium normally. However, this shirt like fits me almost perfectly and it is an extra small. I also did purchase this. It is the ornament for the 25th anniversary. This is 20 once again. This design is super cute. It says Alive with Magic, which is kind of like a tagline for the 25th, I believe. And then it's got the 25th logo down there with this tree of life design. And of course, the mouse himself, Mickey, is on the back. Alrighty, so I got the day of pin. It looks like this. It's got the characters on it. And this is $17.99. And definitely my favorite of the pins. I also got the day of shirt, which has the actual date on it. And I originally wasn't going to, but I think it's a really cute color in person. This is $29.99. And then this design is on the back. That'll wrap up my merch haul. So let's go enjoy the rest of the 25th. Okay, I'm unsure who's meeting over here. They're not out right now, but this line goes all the way down to like this wooded area. And then it passes all the way down around here, all the way like down past the otter entrance. So I'm not sure who goes over there, but that is probably too long of a line for me to justify. We are now in Pandora. All right, we did get the Hongo Lumpia, which is like a pineapple cream cheese spring roll. And these are so good. Like one of the best snacks, they're super cheap, so. This is at Pangu Pangu in Pandora also. Whoa, Alrighty, oh yeah, we decided to go to Flame Tree because we are starving. Um, fries, full pork sandwich. Sadie's trying the vegan option. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on here, but. No, so. Tao got the mac and cheese and they're gossiping about they Disney Channel. For a couple years. along the Discovery River. We'll be getting a gander of your pals, Goofy and Pluto. Look to the Discovery River Lagoon. It's billionaire thrill seeker, Scrooge McDuck. What's it kind of giving? Um, I can't. It's kind of giving. I'm like the water when your ship rolled in that night. <laughs> <laughs> Meet and greet line is still really long down here, but we did find out it is Tinkerbell and Fawn. So that is really cool. Now, a little known fact about the Okapi. It was discovered, it was known by the locals for a long time, but it wasn't discovered by Western civilization until 1901. So no vines or branches get snagged on their horns when they're running. Crocodiles also have their interlocking teeth outside their mouth that give them that crocodile smile. It's because they hunt in packs, but they also hunt their prey to the point of exhaustion. Zebra patterns there. Zebra stripe patterns are unique to themselves. You guys get a great view here. Now on our right hand side, these big horns belong to the Ancoli cattle. Take their head back out and then dance for the females as if they have a flower crown on top of there. And we know that they're not naturally pink because when the chicks first hatch, they're actually gray in coloration. They're called that because, well, they don't have very good eyesight, so they tend to crash into things. From the Afrikaans word, 
white. It was thought to mean white. Turns out it actually means wide, spelled W-I-D-E. And that's because their mouth is a lot wider. Now these might look like baby goats, but they're actually fully grown. They're just known for their small stature, giving them their name, the Nigerian dwarf goat. So my alt bias in the animal world is manatees, but for Kilimanjaro Safari, my bias has always been okapis. It's but true. today, I'm gonna look like a fool because I don't, I haven't learned all the names yet of this group. But the deer-like animal with the bongo or the kudu? back horns. It wasn't oh. the kudu, so it must it have been the, the bongo. bongo. The bongo. Okay. Slicked back horns, dark brown. I by, love that. Bias Rucker, mm -hmm. like. I don't know if they're so sweet. They really are. Know, I don't know if I'm fully bias wrecked and like they're my new bias. I think I'm just going to say that the bongo is my bias wrecker okay. and the okapi is my bias. This jungle juice drink over at the Dawa Bar. This was about $16. It's pretty good, pretty sweet. And it's got that jungle juice flavor, which is passion fruit, orange, and guava juice. I will be the one to say that the Tree of Life is, in fact, the best icon in a Disney park. This is really pretty. I just love stack for all these little details. So this one right here is actually a crab. If you can see kind of the legs. This one's cute too. It's got monkeys hugging. Obviously, I adore the frog. That is so cute. I mean like a lizard over here or maybe an alligator of sorts. Not sure. So we're actually going to have a conference for those people who have seen Rivers of Light. So Rivers of Light. If you've seen Rivers of Light, let's... Let's go over here. Hi everybody. Um, welcome to the Rivers of Light conference. Here we are in the former theater that housed Rivers of Light. It's this true. This show was a nighttime show that was met with very mixed reviews. If you were a fan in the community when Rivers of Light came out, there's never been a more polarizing topic. We're having a meeting. Please leave. You, we were in the front lines. We, we really were. Those who do not know, Rivers of Light was a show that happened on this lagoon right over here, um, across from Everest. It was probably my favorite nighttime show ever. I think it was gorgeous. The music itself was better than anything else Disney has ever done. And it was just really pretty. A lot of people didn't like it because it wasn't showy, didn't have fireworks and characters at first, but I loved it. And then when they added the characters, I kind of liked it a little less, but I still loved it. And when it was gone, heartbroken. So if you got to see that show, it was amazing. But if not, know that you missed out. Truthfully, if that show was here tonight, I would have been sobbing, like downright sobbing. We are now going to do Dinosaur. So this ride actually was called Countdown to Extinction when it first opened, and then it got a slight retheme a few years later to a Dinosaur. Joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. The store was so good today. That was like one of my best runs on that ride in a long time, and I did it twice yesterday. I love it. Really cool riding that after riding Indiana Jones Adventure over in Disneyland in California because they're actually the same track layout. Slight modifications here and there, but pretty much the same track layout. And it's so cool to see like what scene is here versus there. And they've got all these pins out that are like old pins that were here. There's this pin quest one that has all the different characters. That's really cute. I want that food I want. And we've got the 20th pins, which I don't know if I ever got, but these are really cute. Those pins over there weren't for sale, but they were just out to see. They're really cool. Rest in peace, Primeval World. You will be missed. I'm wearing my Rivers of Light Magic Band today. Miss her so much. Best show ever. I'm gonna just go back. Oh, he's is, that, is there a dig site over there? I don't know. What do you think? So now we're done in the boneyard in Dinoland. We're just chilling. What? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. 
Hester. I do think I have to say Hester. I do prefer girl power. Okay. So. What do you think? I just think that like Chester kind of like can get it. I get it. It makes sense. <laughs> now time for a ride on Everest. Swifty alert. Um, Oh, does everybody see that bridge over there? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We unfortunately did miss Nemo the Big Blue and Beyond. Today, Moana is meeting at Character Landing over here, right by the entrance to Dinoland USA, as well as over by Discovery Island. I did hear that that was a very long line today, so if you want to meet Moana, maybe dedicate some time to that, because it'll probably take a while. We are now back in Pandora. We are now in Satoli Canteen having our dinner. I got the chicken bowl with the creamy herb sauce. So good, delicious, always a hit. Sadie, what did you get? Same thing with the onion sauce. With the noodles. And with the noodles. What sauce? Onion. Ooh, that sounds good. And Mateo got the kids hot dog wrapped up. It looks good, I almost got that. It came with a little uh, beverage. Mmm. Katie's getting her drink, but she I'm also got step. the hot dog. It is now time to do Navi River Journey. It is now time for Flight of Passage. I mean, look at that sunset. It's such lover skies. It's so pretty out. I'm obsessed. Once the link takes place, you will be connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of an Ikron. It'll feel like you're really there. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sivak Hope, rise to the challenge. Good luck. Oh my God, you guys. That, that was the best ride ever. This place is just, just wow. 10 out of 10. This area just is so cool at night. I love it so much. We are now on the way out. There is a 25th photo op right over here with a stage. That was from an event this morning where they kind of had like a little ceremony for the 25th, which we missed because we got here a little late. However, I got some pictures there and I'll insert that now. They've got 25th banners out at the entrance of Animal Kingdom. These are cute with the 25th design and actually is the date on it also. Hello, it's actually me now two days after the 25th anniversary. Um, I'm wearing the same outfit because I do own a washing machine and a dryer. However, I'm back here again because I need to try the Gorilla Falls Trail Sunday. And then maybe go on safari or something, I don't know. I only have a couple hours till the park's closed, so we'll see what I get done. There are actually a few new things that I didn't see on the 25th. There's these two magnets for 20 each, and then these two ornaments for 20 each as well. Alrighty, so at Timu Timu Refreshments, I did finally get the Grillo Falls Trail Sunday. 
this has a little brownie on the bottom with vanilla ice cream. It looks like fruity pebbles and like this trail mix with the granola and stuff. And then this little picture of a gorilla. This looks so good. I'm starving. I'm gonna dig in. This was $6.79. Now this item is exclusive to the 25th in theory. So it is supposed to be gone after Sunday, April 30th. So if you can't get here before that, you are out of luck. However, if you can, this looks delicious. Already people, that Sunday, mm -hmm. that was amazing. Um, I wish that was here all the time. I would literally get that like every time I come here. The brownie was like the perfect brownie. Just the combination of the flavors was perfect. Now I'm on the Gorilla Falls exploration trail and let's see what we can find. It's true, we did just have an Animal Kingdom bias spotting. That was crazy. The copies, I feel like, never come that close on the trail. But I guess it was the only one over there besides the cast member. So maybe that's why. Hello. I would like to note that that bird did in fact hit my hair. It's true. The rumors have been spreading and they're all true. Oh wow. So they're closer to horses in size, but the ears are more like donkey ears. Yeah, you can definitely tell that. Just amazing standing. That is crazy that it goes all the way down to the tail. I don't think I've ever noticed that all the times I've been here. So the Gorilla Falls Trail actually ended over by the zebras. That's also where the meerkats are. The meerkats weren't out, but um, they had a little rope off there, so I didn't get to see any actual gorillas today. But that was a really good run through the trail. I saw pretty much everything that was available to see. A lot of the animals came really close and were doing really fun stuff. So, oh, uh, great run. I'm happy I did that. There's literally nobody here. It's a f like 20 minutes before park closed and there's not a single soul in this entire safari queue right now. I'm living. For those of you who don't know, after my bias of the Okapi, my next is definitely the zebra. Everyone thought that they were related to the zebras due to their black and white striped legs. Now the black rhino weighs about 3,000 pounds but sadly, there are less than 5,000 of them left in the world. Now, those are Nile hippopotamus, my friends. And we do see a whole group of them. And a group of hippopotamuses are called a bloat. Now, the Nile crocodile 
on average, are at about 16 feet in length and weigh about 500 pounds. Now that is going to be a female spotted hyena. My friends, on our left hand side, I do see two different animals. I do see the Ancoli cattle with those big old horns on top of their head. And I also see some wildebeest in migratory herds of up to 1.5 million. I am going to stop right here, my friends, because I see an Ann Coley cattle crossing the road. And some wildebeest. We are going to keep going forward, my friends. A group of giraffes is called a tower because they like to tower above everything else on the savanna. They are the tallest land mammal in the world. No two fingerprints are the same. That's the same with the Maasai giraffe. No. And I'm gonna assume that because... Now, whenever greater is in the name of a animal, that just means that they are going to be the largest of their species. So these are going to be the largest species of flamingos. Now cheetahs are very extremely fast, running at speeds of about 55 to 65 miles per hour. Here are our male lion giving us a mighty roar. We're gonna go around to the other side to see if we can see it a little better. What a beautiful sound, my friends. We do see our two lionesses and our male lion. They rest that long in order to conserve their energy for their big hunts at night. Look at this, a pretty much fully empty Africa. This is awesome. I love it. That run on the safari was fantastic. Happy I did that. This was a great day. There was like nobody at the park, great animal interactions, lots of activity. And I just had a great time. And that Sunday, so good. I literally wish I got on the safari a few minutes earlier so I could have got the Sunday again, truthfully. It was that good. So, that being said, if you get the chance to get the Sunday, you get it. Now it's time to head out to the front of the park and say goodbye to Dakchella Weekend. Now this area back here in the Tree of Life Gardens Walk area, kind of over by the otters, as well as the tree over there. This is where a lot of the specialty characters will meet. So if you're here for Earth Day, this is probably where you'll find characters. This is where Fawn and Tinkerbell were um, on Saturday. So just as a reference, There truly is just so much to look at on this tree. And every time you're here, you're just gonna notice more. Like, it's truly impossible to see everything. Anyways, that concludes our weekend plus Monday of the 25th anniversary of Disney's Animal Kingdom and Earth Day, aka Dakchella 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.